hello guys welcome back to my channel so on this video i'm going to show you how i got to retouch this image using the frequency separation technique so i did not use any action nor retouch academy so i'm just going to show you the step by step process i use in retouching this image so without wasting much time let's just get to it so at first what i'm going to do i'm just going to duplicate this background layer into two so it's either i press command j on my keyboard or i'll just drag the layer right here which i'll just drag one then two so once i'm done duplicating the two layers so i'll name this first one high so this is the high layer so i'll name this second one low so after naming that i'll come to this upper one the eye layer i'll close the visibility and i'll come to this second layer right here which is the low and once i get here i'm just going to add fader so once i get to fader i locate my blur then and i'll choose gaussian blur so after that once i'm done with clicking the gaussian blur this is how it's going to show so i'll just take this to 0 0.1 then i'll just sample any part on the image like the first the face of the um, model so i um i prefer using this part where there is blemishes so i'll just take this radius to when i can't really see the blemishes again so i think let me just use seven or 6.8 is fine so this does not have a fixed radius to use depending on how your image is so once I'm done, I'm just going to come to this eye layer. Just change this to the move tool. So I'll just come to the eye layer. I'll now open the visibility of it. You can now see the texture is back. So I'll head to my image. Then I'll click on apply image. So after clicking on apply image, I'll come to the layer right here. So once I click, I make sure I select this low layer right there. So I've selected it. The channel should be at um rgb then the blending i'll now change this to subtract so after changing it to subtract your settings might be different from this but make sure your opacity is at 100 your scale at 2 then offset at 1 to 8 so once all of that is being done you hit ok so after hitting ok you come to the blending you now change this to linear light so once you change it to linear light, I'll just highlight the two, then I'll drag it here to group it. So I'll just rename this FS, which is frequency separation. So what frequency separation does, it separates the skin color and the skin texture for you to work with. So if you're picking up blemishes, you're going to use the texture layer. So if you are brushing, you use the um, color layer. So this is it. The eye layer is for the texture. Then the low layer is for the skin color. So to take off blemishes, I'll just select the high layer. Then I love using clone stamp to pick off blemishes. So I'm just going to zoom in this image. So I'll just take I just take it closer. So how you can use the clone stamp to pick blemishes is you just sample, you just locate any place that there is no blemishes you press and hold your option key then you click on that part so once you click on it you let go of the option then you now replace it with where there is blemishes so that is how to pick up blemishes so i'm just going to repeat the process wherever i find the wherever i see blemishes so i'm just going to replace it i'm just going to use that method to do that so you can now see how i'm picking up blemishes so and you should be careful while picking it and make your brush bigger than the blemishes you're picking so don't pick a bigger blemishes with a very small brush it's going to end up ruining the image so i'm just going to do it here as well so once i'm done i'm not actually done picking up all the blemishes here i'll just take this off a bit so once i'm done with that and this as well so once i'm done with that i'm just going to brush this image so to brush this image i'm going to come to the low layer right here then i'll pick on my mixer brush so change this place to a clean brush 
and I like using the weight at 30 then the load at 25 mix at 30 and flow at 30 so that's the settings I do using with touching so once all of that is done I'm just going to brush just going to start brushing this image so you can now see how I'm brushing the image so I'm just going to use the brush around the image I'm not I'm not using it in a vertical way so you can now see I'm just turning the brush around and right here So a quick one, let me show you guys the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. So I'm just going to brush this other area. Mm, just brush this. So, so while I'm doing this, after watching this video, you can just give um comment and what you think i should do next for you so i'm just going to brush this image and don't forget to like this video and i'm just going to brush you can now see how it's becoming smoother and this is how i do it and i'll just brush this area so I'll reduce the brush to pay close attention to know where I'm using a bigger brush and where I'm using a smaller brush. So so once I'm done a bit, I'll come back to the high frequency, then I'll pick on the clone stamp. Then I'll just take off the blemishes I'm noticing after brushing. So I'll just take this, just so to make it, but I won't take everything off, so I won't end up making the image look plastic. So I'll just pick the few ones I can, and I'll pick this area. So I'll come back to the low frequency, then pick on my mixer brush again. I'll just make some few correction to it. So let me show you a quick before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. So you can now see how it's looking smooth. I did not ruin the image. I just maintain everything. So I'm just going to do it like this. And this. You can now see how the face is looking. So let me come back. Let me come to this neck area. And just continue the brushing. You can now see the way I'm turning the brush. You should not wait to use a bigger brush and wait to use a smaller brush. So, this is how I do it. And I'll just brush this area to make it look smooth. So I'll just turn the brush, then I'll come to this other area. And then I'll just brush this like this. So you can now see the way I'm turning the brush. So while brushing, you shouldn't get rid of um, the highlight or the shadows. You try blending the two. Because if you try getting like this area that is bright, you try bringing the dark part to it, you end up just making the image look flat. So just try maintaining and blending it. 
just to look smooth so this is how i do it just going to take this out a bit then just brush just brush it like this so i'm just going to pick on the like i'll just select the high frequency then zoom in a bit then pick my clone stamp to pick some blemishes and i'll just sorry just take that off in this I don't think this other area. So, so I'll just pick a few ones of out there. And this as well. So once I'm done, I'll just zoom out. Then select the low frequency. Pick on the mixer brush, and I'll just do some finishing touch to it. I'll just correct it. After picking the blemishes so now I'm just making some finishing touch to it to make it look smoother so let me show you guys the before this is the before and this is the after so I'm just going to make this look smooth a bit then I'll come to this phase I'm seeing some correction which I need to do and that's what I'm doing so I just correct it. So let me show you quick. This is the before and this is the after. This is the before and after. So this is how I got to retouch this image from start to finish. And if you're a beginner, this video is actually for you. Even though you're a pro, you can still learn from this. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this video is helpful. Please give give a thumbs up and also comment. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorial videos. So for now, I hope to see you in the next video.